and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Grixis Blood Sun. We have Hawkeye joining us here for the start of the league at least. Um, what we got going on here though with our deck, we got a spicy one. We are playing Big Mana Grixis focused on uh, built around Blood Sun and a Lotus Field. Of course, like that combination. with So we got four Lotus Field in here, four Blood Sun, and uh, trying to use that combo there to be able to have Lotus Field get us some big mana, you know, get us a lot of mana. And then we got Mass Manipulation and a whole bunch of six mana Planeswalkers. Um, you know, so we got a lot of uh, expensive stuff here in the deck, but hopefully Blood Sun plus Lotus Field helps us out there. Lotus Field, of course, can also help fix our mana, give us the triple black for Dragon God or, you know, get us towards the four blue for mass manipulation. So, yes, yeah, so that's what we got going on here. So we're we're trying to beat some Field of the Dead decks by playing four Blood Sun main. Plus, we're going to have some, un we got three Unmoored Egos in the sideboard as well. So that's what we're targeting here, seeing how it works. We got another manipulation another Ugin in the sideboard where Ugin can get rid of like experimental frenzy uh, and stuff like that and then we got some some more removal spells there as well so this will be a fun one to play let's let's see how it does um you know could it could go well it could everything could go wrong who knows um Yeah, so temples instead of sulfur falls to uh, the problem with with temple is you know like we're we're already like on turn three likely gonna have to sacrifice our two lands like but we want to be playing a two drop I I think I just don't want the more tap lands because like if we don't have blood sun um you know, like this is coming into play tapped basically I just don't really want more tap lands. But we'll we'll see how it plays out. We'll see if like while we play it, if playing te two temples instead of two sulfur falls would work out better. So yeah, let's let's give this a try. So we're gonna go and play this in ranked. See how it works. This could go poorly, or it may go well. We don't really want to be facing aggro too much. Because we have, like, you know, four Blood Suns in our deck that don't really do things against aggro. We just want to face Field of the Dead. That is true that Ascanta As Blood Sun is a Nambo. That is true. Ascanta is still just a, a good... Uh, just basically scry every turn, though. It can, it can do that. But that is true. It is a Nambo with Blood Sun. All right, Hawkeye, what are we facing? Mono Red, the bane of Grixis decks everywhere. Hooray. Well, do you know how to make your Grixis deck better against Mono Red? Put a whole bunch of six mana cards in it. And Blood Suns. That'll make your Mono Red matchup better. Ooh. Rakdos. All right, come on, Black Mana Source. I guess we won't even be able to kill the Butcher anyway with the Cry of the Carnarium. I'm happy as a Hellion to start some fire. Say hi to my fiery friends. I mean, this game's just over. All right, sideboard time. So we're gonna play our fourth Legion's End, two more Cry of the Carnariums, these Hostage Takers, this Enter the God Eternals, this Bedeck. So we're bringing in seven cards. Blood Sun does, I mean, I guess it doesn't do just nothing because of Lotus Field. But I don't really want it. 
Right, if we cut two of these six mana planeswalkers, which ones are we cutting? Liliana and our set's just like really slow too. Though. Maybe I keep both of those and take out the Narsets. Let's take out a Lotus Field. And cut Narsets for Duresses. I don't know how, like, spell heavy they're actually going to be, though. Okay, maybe keep Narset. Yeah, I've played a, a good amount of Sword Point Diplomacy, Rakdos Burn. It, it's been a while. I played that a lot more. I guess like Guilds of Ravnica Standard, even before Ravnica Allegiance, was whenever I played it mostly. And we do have a Ritual of Soot, which is probably a really good card to have against Rakdos. We have basically our whole deck, our good draws right now. Of like all the two and three mana cards that we have in our deck. So yeah, look look for for Rakdos, Rakdos burn. Yeah, that's what we would that's what I would have called the deck Rakdos burn. We did not draw a two or three mana card. Either draw step. All right, down to fourteen. Don't let them strike Dragon God. Yeah, with me having Ugin. The immortal Nicole Bolas will be your end. My revenge will be painful. Ah, is a fry. Anyone need a match? No. Too bad. Hey. Mm. I don't like having to mine a Zugin. I like to draw like a Bedevil. I guess I could just tick up Ugin. Yeah, I guess we could tick up Ugin. I don't know if the bolus sleeves and avatar and stuff are still available in the store. I don't know, because after after I purchased them, of course they left the store. So I don't I don't know like they left the store for me. So I don't know how long they're still up. Oh, of course, last card was lightning strike. That's not a good sign. Go get him, buddies.
Great card. So we've talked about before, Hostage Shaker versus Knight of the Ebon Legion is a big win for Hostage Shaker. Hey, Eddie. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Eddie. Santa 619's got your back there. All right, sub number six on the day. I know, Hawkeye's gone. I guess we'll move the camera up. There you go. We gotta see if we can stabilize here. Oh, well, we have stabilized, but see if we can finish out the game. This is really more of what Wanted to say there. Before they draw a couple burn spells. Whew. Barely got there. Barely. So yeah, they are going pretty burn spell heavy. They had Coil, Fry, Shock, Strike. Does make me want to play Duress. I think Ugin's probably just better than Chandra, though. Am I ever going to want, like, Chandra's minus three? Not really. Do I want this extra duress over the second Ugin? On the draw. One over the second search for his cancel on the draw. Hey, <laughs> whether you win by an inch or a mile, a win's a win. Well, I like Chandra um, instead of Liliana because of. I'm worried about their three mana Chandra, and I like how like the, I like how, six mana Chandra kills three mana Chandra, and also exile like how it can exile Dreadhorde Butcher as well. Where are my lands at? <laughs> I'd rather take Mayhem Devil than Bantu with this Thought Erasure. Not as worried about Bantu. It could just Legion's End. The night, though. It's basically, I mean. Mayhem Devil is not that scary either. It's basically just like a, a mana thing of like why I'm taking that though. Because, you know, Bantu costs five mana, including another black that they don't necessarily have ac access to. 
Hmm. Alright, well, this could be bad. Yep, bad. All right, guess I should have taken Bond too. Not looking good. A great card to have with Priest of Forgotten Gods. Hey, don't start any fires without me. Hey, these little guys are great. They, what are they doing? Like, well, I don't know why they attacked with Priest of Forgotten Gods instead of just activating it and making me lose two life, and then also drawing a card instead of just dealing one damage by attacking. They could have just activated it and sacked those elementals. So they can coil hostage taker, get priest back. But yeah, if we if we can top deck a land, like that, obviously that land was perfect there. If we can top deck another land and have Enter the God Eternals, that's a big game. rough Chandra, remember that spell. The Dragon God. No. to meditation anyway. Okay. So now, is it even worth it to attack for two when we know they're playing a bunch of hay stuff? I didn't think so. 
You know, like Dreadhorde, like if I attack and they have Dreadhorde Butcher, that's really annoying. Obviously attacking the, the Chandra, I really wanted to do that, obviously. Oh, whoops. <laughs> All right, bad idea. <laughs> bad idea. Not worth. <laughs> Not worth it. Ooh, maybe worth it? <laughs> no, we'd still be able to cast Mayhem Devil anyway. We could just be at three. Yeah, we'd still have the, the mana to cast it. GG. Unfortunately, we'll never know what our next card was. You know, if you know, maybe we would have found like an another Enter the God Eternals. This game's hard. This game's hard. I should have taken Bantu instead of Mayhem Devil with that Thought Erasure. That was like the the big. You know, like that that last mistake cost me two points of damage but that was the the big mistake that that hurt yeah we had so there's three enter the god eternals one got duressed away that probably would not have gotten duressed away i mean it would not have if i would have taken the bantu previously Like the worst land to start with. And then there's there was two others in our deck that we could have potentially drawn. Are they just a red white blood sun deck? to just play Lotus Field yet. Maybe we'll draw Blood Sun and then we don't have to actually sacrifice our lands. I guess I'm going to go Ugin minus on the seal away to get Nicol Bolas back. You know, Blood Sun, of course, would make these Treasure Coves not be able to get a whole bunch of cards. Ah, uh, Haphazard Bombardment deck. Hazard Barbarma's really cool. Ugh. It's rough. Hey, Lace. Welcome. So, unfortunately, I want to play the Dragon God. 
But if I play Dragon God, then one of my lands gets destroyed by the Bombardment. So I feel like I should just play Lotus Field and sack two of these lands. And then Bombardment doesn't do anything. Is that, is that better than just having Dragon God out, though? Probably not. It's like we are going to have one land destroyed. No! Witness a motor. But then whatever land's destroyed, you know, we sack the other two. To the Lotus Field. Ah, uh, good call. Yeah, if I, if I do Blood Sun, then they then they get to destroy Lotus Field because Lotus Field doesn't have Hexproof anymore. Yeah, or they could have another bombardment or whatever. Oh, Field of Ruin. Right, Field of Ruin will just lose the ability with Blood Sun. Anyway. Right, right, right. Haphazard Bombardment doesn't target? Because you just choose? That can be rough. Can we not? Oh, right. We can't. Because that's four black. My purpose is greater than myself. See, so yeah, another Star of Extinction would have punished me by blowing up my Lotus Field there. I have three Bedevils in the deck. That we can hopefully find. Getting the Ravager, because like if my Planeswalkers are shut off, I want the creature. Stand down.
No, I don't have hostage taker main deck. I have three bedevils. Yeah, that's what I have is three bedevils. Ugh. That's a really good draw. All right, so we're gonna have all these duresses. Um, the hostage takers. Extra Ugin. I don't know if I really want I don't know if I really want on more to go. I mean, I don't really want all these Enter the God Eternals. And I, I'm not even sure about, like, mass manipulation. Guess I'm playing Ego then. Yeah, we, we never really saw the, the win con. I'm not exactly sure how we were going to lose. We were gonna lose, and it was gonna take a long time, and so I'm just moving on with with life and going to the next game. But not exactly sure how they're gonna kill us with having on Mordi go out. I don't I don't think they could go get drag like because they they couldn't they couldn't activate their planeswalkers because immortal or sorry with having immortal sun out like so with having immortal sun out I'm not sure how they were gonna win. Yeah, Haphazard does work on Hexproof. Did I cut the Blood Suns? I think I was planning on doing that. I'm not sure if I did. No, Epic, I haven't seen that at all. Like, those were, like, the two cards that I wanted to ego away, like, Bombardment and Karn. So I'm going to take one here, and I'm going to ego the other. So it's like, which one would I rather have gone for good and not deal with at all? Probably Bombardment. Not a card that I like seeing in my expensive deck here. There's just no haphazard bombardment here. That's weird. Dawn of Hope makes sense. Four Cavalier of Dawn. Four Karn, four Cavalier of Dawn. Whole bunch of Cleansing Novas.
We do need a six land, but I think what's pretty likely we'll be able to find a six land anyway. Yeah, they have a lot of creature removal still. I don't really have creatures. Yeah, so Dawn of Hope would have killed us last. Like that was the that was the card that was gonna kill us last game. Another one of those. Let us begin. You will not. <sighs> And, of course, Karn is colorless, so Ugin does not kill Karn. I don't think dressing away Spyglass is, is good instead of just playing my six-mana card. My presence alone will guide the fabric of the multiverse. Or maybe we find land and we get to Duress and Liliana. Another really good draw. If only the Blood Sun and the Land was Switch, that would have been nice to be able to play Liliana and Duress. But I definitely wanted to Duress away that Immortal Sun. Need to do that. We have Dawn of Hope too? I didn't see that. Uh, they've been drawing the right part of the deck and not the removal part of the deck. That's for sure. Evil cannot withstand a righteous army. Warrior Queen Necromancer has a nice ring to it. I wonder if they're going to devout decree the Liliana or not. My grief fuels my mission. Crew four. Well, they have the other three Cavalier of Dawns in their deck that they need to draw to turn on this Parhelion. Huh, oh, more lands? Ugh. Fine, I'll leave.
Whole bunch of lands. Yeah. That's game. Nice cruise bar Helion. I think those are about as poorly as we could draw and our and as good as our opponent could draw in those turns. You know, like the the second Karn, then third Karn. You know, like we kept our two six mana planeswalkers in our opener and like Really didn't draw anything but one Thought Erasure that whole match. And just a whole bunch of lands. Like the whole game, not match. The whole second game. Oh, that was ridiculous. Alright, well, if they're Field of the Dead, we want the Blood Sun. If not, we don't. We do have four, field, four Blood Suns, and we can have Ascanta look for more in case they are Field of the Dead. Good job, Sirius. So we're, we're trading one for one to slow down a little bit, but then we also have just all the information about like what their hand looks like and, and everything. So like I know like even if I find the land here not to just play the Dragon God next turn because of Hellkite, for example. Correct. Yep, when Throne of Eldraine releases, that's whenever there will be rotation. So, whenever that release day is on Arena, and whenever Throne of Eldraine is legal and standard, then standard will only be... Uh, we'll only have five legal sets. At that point. Defiance has consequence. Alright, so Shock was going to be able to kill the Dragon God anyway. Another time, Planeswalker. Oh, not attacking him. Thought they were worth how they gave it haste. Yes, uh, Ascanta is counterproductive with Blood Sun, but is also just just a really powerful card that helps you find like your Blood Sun and stuff too. Um, it's just a just a really good card, and I think it's still worth inclusion. I think it's okay to it's okay if like not every single one of your cards play perfectly together when you're just playing really powerful cards because there's other times like as we've seen like that you don't really want blood sun like it doesn't do anything so just putting them in into your graveyard also instead of drawing them also works but yeah without without Ascanta we would have no chance in this game like if we were just playing you know like some other card 
like I don't, like a whatever card draw spell like discovery or something. Like if as Canto was discovery, would we would have had no chance that game. As Canto still just pretty busted good at times. Hey Nimbus Mage. Nimbus Maze. My bad. No, I, I really don't have any preference with standard. Um, usually liking it right before rotation or after rotation. Um, you know, whether it's five sets or eight sets. I don't really have a preference there. Hey, what's up, Cobb? Thanks for that resub. Yeah, th there's a standard tournament on October 12th. Uh, yeah, your standard's going to be much, much different on October 12th than what it is right now. All right, so we're playing against Gruel stuff. Let's get these things in. Don't know if I need... I guess they have a bunch of war bosses. Cry is awesome against war boss. Um... I feel like ma manipulation's too slow, but maybe manipulation's better than some of these things, than like Liliana or Chandra. Manipulation's a good answer to Rekindling Phoenix. I'm gonna take out Liliana and play manipulation over Liliana. My favorite standard format of all time. I think right after Cons of Tarkir was released. So like Theros block with Cons. Yeah, Theros block with cons. Like that five set. I think I'm gonna wait to try to ritual of set away the lieutenant here. No, actually, I think it, I think the six sets, like right after, what was the next set? Fate Reforged. Actually, no, yeah, I'll take, yeah, Fate Reforged standard. I like Monastery Mentor. Also. Fate Reforged did give Ugin, though. Ugin's a messed up card. I didn't really like Ugin. Like the Fate Reforged Ugin, that card was something else. How this thing goes is up to you, pal. There is wonder in a blade of grass. So yeah, I liked playing like Jeskai Ascendancy uh, with Monastery Mentor. Like that was like my favorite deck. At the time. Hmm. This champion of the wilds is really nice here. Starting over is the only way. Well, I was kind of hinting at it. it's nice because they can just um, you know because they get to play so much instant speed stuff I don't know why I didn't play the water grave the last turn I should have but yeah I'm thinking this next turn I'll probably you know may use like legion's end cry or you know something else plus thought erasure they still just have so many cards in hand. Thought Erasure 
will still trade it pretty profitably for us and give us a lot of information. But if they, you know, if they're just like passing here and not doing anything. I mean, I guess I could go Chandra. So Chandra starts at six loyalty. So Chandra down to five. To get rid of Vivian. It's certainly possible that they can kill Chandra here, but not super likely that they have five power. But, you know, they could have like shifting Ceratops or multiple cards. I'll be back. Of just like before to finish you all right so phoenix was one of their other cards Ugh, gross i i am glad that it was one of their other cards so that the thought rager can still hit everything in, in hand you're going to be sorry when i come back Three cards over there. Double Spellbreaker. Gross. Yeah, Legion War Boss dodges Legion's end. It is not flavorful. I agree. So now, as Kant is at six, so we're probably just putting whatever card over in the graveyard so we can get our seventh mana so we can go enter the God Eternal plus Thought Erasure. Um, ooh. Okay. Draw a land and that can grab Phoenix and play Phoenix. Domri's ambush? What is that going to do? I guess that's just going to kill my Into the God Eternal token. Need to just top deck and untap land here. Let not draw. Oh, they had a war boss. Back up. Ninja Zen looked pretty bad. Let's get another manipulation in instead. Another card that can deal with Phoenix. All right, well, we get to be on the play here. It can definitely be the difference between stabilizing or not, whether we're on the play or not. <laughs> oh, this hand is horrendous. 
Okay. <laughs> Once one Lotus Field sacks the other lands and the other ones are just dead. <clears throat> okay, we haven't really seen the Legion's End like be that good of a card, and especially with it being able to have like turn four set, just ditching that. Help get closer to flipping Ascanta. See, good deck building. Yuck. Kite. All right, so the plan of course is to bedeck. Bedeck the Phoenix. Untap Soot. Already got six cards. Oh, come on. All right, that worked out pretty well. And that worked out pretty well indeed. So we could find Thought Erasure here. Okay, which is the reason to ask Kanta main phase. All right. Yeah, the Phoenix token has zero... Zero CMC, so Ritual of Soot gets rid of it. Alright, well, yeah, we have seen zero Yurok decks. Let's play one more match here. See if we can pair it against a Yurok deck. Hopefully. Or not a Yurok deck, sorry, Field of the Dead. Which could be a Yurok deck also, but we just want to play against a Field of the Dead deck. But that did work out pretty, like the, that Lotus Field worked out pretty well of sacrificing two lands to help fuel the Azkanta. 
that definitely helped. I think Dirk's a viewer of the stream here. No. Dirk's not Field of the Deading. Unless it's Field of the Dead Vampires. <laughs> yeah, usually it's... Yeah, I thought it was going to be Saturday for the sub-battle. No, a little early here. Uh, that's a already good, good hand on the play. Danto Vanguard's really tough for Grixis to deal with, of course. And there's another one. But even tougher than that is Soren with my current hand. I have three Legion's Ends and one Cry of the Carnarium in the main deck. I just need a cycle. Gotta dig. Our deck will look a little better after sideboarding. We're gonna have more Legion's Ends and Cries and Bedeck. But this game won in this hand. We are just dead no matter what we draw. Yeah, we don't have an out right now. I wonder why Knight of the Ebon Legion was activated. Yeah, it says oops, but yeah. So, yep, we have faced nothing but aggro decks. Well, I mean, we faced that one janky land destruction deck, which did which uh, did well against me. But this is not the deck to be playing if we're going to be facing aggro all the time. So would I rather have Mass Manipulation over Liliana or Ugin, or would I rather just play this other Ugin instead of Mass Manipulation? I think I want Ugin instead of Manipulation. Yeah, yeah. Lotus Lotus Field does say you need to sacrifice lands two lands whenever it comes into play. So if you play it on turn one, you will then have to sacrifice two lands, and your only land will be Lotus Field. So you will sacrifice Lotus Field. If we don't draw lands, this could be a quick game. All right, that's a start. Yeah, we were relying on Thought Erasure to help us hit land drops with that surveil.
I'm hopefully you're just gonna hit land, be able to play Ravager, hit land, go God Eternals. Just you know, saving some life here, getting getting that Conquistador out of here. Did not. All right, one more. Can we can we just play against the field of the dead deck? That's all we played yesterday in range was field of the dead everywhere. And so then I was like, I'm gonna make a, a blood sun deck. Play today. No field of the dead anywhere. Can't really keep this. Cause we can't do anything with that Lotus Field. So the good old days, Rocket. So I have 26 lands in here. 26. We got lots of we got lots of lands. We can hit them. Hooray! Unfortunately, looks like we're 0 for 5 on Field of the Dead decks, though. Wow. Look at that lucky draw. What? Nobody even plays counter spells anymore. <laughs> uh, the one person playing a counter spell. Sure. Well, that means that these four cards are probably all dead. Doesn't look like my opponents are going to be playing any creatures. I'm known for my excellent timing. So it looks like we have four dead cards in hand. Hold that thought. We're already on a mulligan to six. A mulligan to two is pretty rough. I suppose Ooh. that's how. But we got to ferry out of there, so that's a good start. Whoa! They played a creature. Okay, never mind. Not mulligan to two. Just mulligan to four because these legions ends don't do anything. Uh, I don't need to steal that. Rather steal a Teferi. Yeah, get Command the Dreadhorde out of here. <laughs> Kai's Wrath 4 4. Can't possibly take 4 damage. Can't ever, like, see if I draw a 3 mana Teferi that bounces a token. Nothing. Got a Kai's Wrath at 4 4. That's a weird use of another Kaya. Hmm. I already have Ascanta. Three, de three dead cards in Ascanta.
All right, please, no other counter spell. Right on schedule. Just play another Planeswalker. Play another Teferi or Narset or something. Oh, I thought they were playing another Planeswalker. So close. Yoink. Thank you. Hurry. Man, untapping Lotus Field, you get so much mana. We need to move quickly. I'm one mana short from flip flipping Ravager. I'll still I'll still play it. So like playing it here does mean that you know like they could kill it, but you know get to get rid of that last card. I'm Chandra, the immolation sensation. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> We're doing it. That Lotus Field draw ride right for the Blood Sun was sweet. That was that was nice whenever we didn't have very many lands. Alright, some manipulation, a bunch of duresses. Um Ugin. Kinda don't mind hostage taker. We get to take the lead guard mage. If I'm not playing any of these. We gotta play another two cards. Um, I guess this kills Guard Mage or could kill a land. Like they're probably just gonna have like they had Guard Mages. They're gonna have some creatures. I could go like Unmoored Ego, try to take like you know Big Teferi. Command the Dread Horde. I would, so I would take out Blood Suns for Egos. You think I should? Because like those, those are definitely the the scariest cards, especially Command the Dread Horde. Command the Dread Horde is just game winning. All right, we'll put in two Egos over two Teferis. Those are definitely the, the two things. Big Teferi and Command the Dread Horde. We can dodge those two cards. We can still get We can still get grounded out, of course, but hopefully we can dodge those two cards. This is a good hand. We need uh, We need lands, but we're a twenty six land deck. I can't play this on turn two, right? So like we have to like draw a second land like this is basically a, a one lander that kind of turns into a three lander so lotus field doesn't work the best with ravager or thought erasure of course guess i just mulligan So they thought Erasure away, Nicol Bolas, Dragon God. I take Narset. Yeah. I don't think giving them two selection spells and then also turning off Blood Sun's ability to draw a card. 
is worth it. Well, could we have kept the first hand and then drawn all these lands? <laughs> that would have been nice. Does it work like that? Forgot our opponent's the only person in the world playing Sinister Sabotage. Keep up the pace. The devil. Thank you. Could wait until upkeep. That just turns on sabotage, and we saw multiple sabotages. You just let me know if you're up for round two. So, good thing is Blood Sun does stop, you know, stops Escanta. So that's good. Card is just unbeatable. The card is just actual unbeatable. No, it's just to take a lead. No, yeah, Hostage Shaker is to take a lead card mage. Plus, if they had other cyborg creatures, you know, like, we don't know if they're going to be playing, like, Thief of Sanity, uh, Basilica Bell Haunt, that kind of stuff. Like, other decks usually have, like, cyborg creatures. Bedazzle deals two damage. Could play that instead of Hostage Shaker. I might as well just go with more of these things. Doesn't really seem like that's that's their game plan is sideboard creatures. Doesn't really seem like that's their thing. So yeah, I'm fine with cutting them. Now we've played a cyborg game. Didn't see any creatures and doesn't look to be their game plan. Getting out Kanta in play before it can go away. Duress or Narset? My problem. Just the trick for this. So hopefully Ascanta can find a black source here. <laughs> Not Lotus Field though. Ugh. I mean, they have, they definitely have Sinister Sabotage this turn. Mind. 
all the all the casting duress or unmoored ego there that turn all it does is just let them sinister sabotage it and then untap with four mana i'd rather wait a turn and be able to have both available i'm not even gonna be able to have both available and this lotus field is so awkward I guess can't to find land. Ooh. They did not get to find land, though. Ugh. This is kind of the worst land to find. It's kind of just, like, actually the worst land. We need it to be a blue source. But still a land. Still better than not a land. Uh, they do have command. <laughs> now they have Thief of Sanity. Because, like, they probably have, like, what, like, maybe two com commands in their deck? So they do have, like, those cyborg creatures. Just one. They have Honor Guard in. So, yeah, they just have one command the Dreadhorde in their deck. It's just in hand. That's gross. Do I even care about Ashiok? I don't think so. Secrets. Take all the cards. Oh, come on. They drew their one Elder spell. Kill my Ugin. I mean, we do have the backup Ugin, but I didn't want to. I didn't want it to be that easy for them to kill that Ugin. Give me that. Exile your stuff. Oh, that's just four lands. You are a mighty warrior. I can see. Doesn't feel great, does it? <laughs> Dueling Ashiox. Nice command the Dread Horde, though.
Hmm. I want to take Othakaya. I mean, Command the Dreadhorde still just like the card, though. Yeah, it's just got to be Command. Because that is still just the card that is going to kill me. Truth lies beyond vision. Relent. Behold. We will remember your nightmares remain. So yeah, sorry about all the Ashiok sound going back and forth. You oh no. Two other six mana planeswalkers. Yeah, I don't know why they don't Thought Erasure first and then cast or then activate Ashiok. To exile that other card. So I need to kill this thief here, which Another does mean my Ugin's gonna die. Ghost fire. But still, Ugin's done, done his job, and of course we can flip Ravager next turn to bring back Ugin also. And yeah, they drew the lands. So they do get to play both. So they can bounce Ravager, so I don't get to flip Ravager. They don't really have very many cards left. Only 20. You know, like, what they have, like, left to win with. Like, all the Hero of Dominarias are gone. The Command of the Dread Horde's gone. They don't really have stuff that are, that's left. Pretty sure this is just a win. I have defeated death. The dead shall serve me. This yeah, all their Thieva Sandies are gone. I honestly don't think I don't think they have anything left now, especially now with that third Thief of Sandy gone, I don't think there's anything left in their deck to they can actually kill me. Yeah, on honor guards of yeah, fourteen turn clock when I already have when I have fourteen life. <clears throat> Alright, well it turns out like the the big mana stuff's pretty good in in like the S Premier. Like mass manipulation was awesome for us. Like that card was incredible. Uh that was you know like one of our best cards, like both games that we won. Mass manipulated a uh, planeswalker. That was a yeah. That was a good match. That was a fun one. That was a fun one. This deck was pretty fun to play. Um, 
I don't know if like my vampire matchup is as bad as it looked. It's not great, but we do have a good amount. We do have like some good tools there. I drew really bad in our vampire matchup. But you know, we do have four legions and three crowd the carnarium, the hostage takers, then to the god eternals. But yeah, against both that and against mono red didn't really draw too well against those, but if the metagame just continues to go the way that it's going with a whole lot of Field of the Dead and, like, you know, really slowing the game down, especially, like, these these slow versions of Field of the Dead that just grind you out over time and they're not trying to scapeshift combo you, um, the more popular that those decks are, then, you know, playing a bunch of Blood Suns like this and going over the top of them and, like, you know, manipulating cards like Golos, you know, using mass manipulation on cards like Golos and your rock and stuff like that and um and then going over top of them with these six mana planeswalkers could be and of course nickel bulls the ravager flipping and everything and then dragon god that could be a way to go so that, that's that's what uh i put together this deck for and uh unfortunately we went five five matches didn't face any field of the dead you know that's all we, we saw yesterday but <clears throat> no, I haven't, Bertolo. I have not. But, yeah. Two and three. Hey, could be worse for running the deck the first time. I think we were really, really unlucky losing to the red-white deck. That that game, too. Really, we couldn't draw worse and our opponent couldn't draw better. Um, after, you know, we thought a on two. On Mordigo on three. Thought a on on turn four. I really didn't think we were losing that one at all. Um, but... We didn't. Oh, well. Uh, fun deck here, though. All right. Uh, that's Grixis Blood Sun. So if you were watching this video uh, later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe buttons. Let me know what you think in the comments, all that kind of stuff. But thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.